Hi, Gospel. In this channel I want to tell you that we can reach the stars. But in this video I want to say that Stephen Hawking was wrong. You interpret wrong the gravity like in, in like gravity is attraction and it is collapsing inwards a body like this. And I put to you the explanation from uh, some Chinese national, okay, you will listen. Looking up at the night sky, all those stars, just like the sun, are giant nuclear fusion reactors, which pump the energy outward, carefully keeping the balance by counteracting the star's gravity that crushes inward. But when a star runs out of fuel, balance is broken and gravity wins. The star collapses upon itself, creating a supernova, the biggest explosion that humans have ever seen. If there is enough mass left behind, they will be crushed by the gravity altogether until there is nowhere to go but a point of infinite density, forming a black hole. So this is the, the everybody's idea, but Stephen Hawking was wrong, okay, was wrong. The gravity is a force, a circulating force, to watch my previous video or circulating force like this, force equal mass times acceleration and has two cases, rectilinear and circular one. And, and, and this field keeps, and uh, it is a field force and this field keeps the same speed of the earth. Like you are having a ball on your hand, a basketball, and you give some uh, force, like with this force. So it is a hitting force somehow, it is not attraction to collapse a star. So I don't care what formulas, formulas he did, he is wrong, okay, he interpret false and everybody take on, on this. Like because he was a handicapped, he can steal it from the bank and, and you give him credit, is false, okay. Gravity is not a force of collapse an in inward force of collapse. It is a rotated, it, it is a rotated field of, of the force, of this force. You put G and G, G like here, b, b, instead of A, of all the earth is 9.8 meters per second. And, and for all the bodies on the solar system. So it is not a collapsing inward force to collapse a black hole, it is not. From the outside, you can't tell what is inside a black hole. You can throw television sets, diamond rings, or even your worst enemies into a black hole, and all the black hole will remember is the total mass, and the angular momentum, an electric charge. And let me tell you simple like this. You will, you watch everything that I put. From where do you learn science? You must listen carefully, the Stephen Hawking. He says no science, just words, like just a poem. But I'm telling you, this force could not produce a black hole of Newton force. For our materials, like all the materials have a breaking, breaking force. Like, I mean, a force to break this spoon. It is from metal, from iron, inoxidable iron, okay? So, so there is a, a breaking force of this spoon. So, so acceleration or gravity is a force of rotative force. So if you rotate this, it's going to be a force in the middle. If you rotate this in the middle, it's going to be a, a outward force and inward force. That inward force, uh, that inward force, if you rotate this, that inward force, because each force has an equal and opposite so there is a centripet force and centrifuge force, like one that gives in exterior and one that gives in interior, equal, equal. So this force that gives in interior is made, is combined by two forces, one of rotational around the sun and one of the spin of the earth. You compound the vector, compound the vector and you obtain 9.8 meters per second square. And this is the vector that goes inward that to balance the centrifuge force. This is gravity, okay? So, 
So this force could not produce a, a black hole. Why? The, the material are calculated. The re, of engineering uh, science this is. There is calculated already where is the breaking point of the steel by dimensions. You have, if you have a piece like this of steel, one meter, two meter like this, a, 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 a thicker one, one meter, two meter, it is calculated the breaking point of the, the, of the, of the material. So if you rotate this from the middle, there is going to be a centrifuge and centripet force if you rotate it like this. And, and if you, if you are going above the breaking point of this material, you break this spoon in half. So every atoms has a force of coherence force, like this rock, a coherence force that the atomic coherence bounding uh, and it is calculated engineering physics this is so if you rotate this by the newton principles you will break this rock and you cannot obtain an inward force that collapses this rock you cannot on any material when you break this when you break when you can break the material and it is calculated quantum mechanics implies that the whole of space is filled with pairs of virtual particles and antiparticles that are constantly materializing in pairs and then coming together again and annihilating each other one member of a pair of virtual particles may fall into the hole leaving the other member without a partner with which to annihilate the forsaken particle or antiparticle may fall into the black hole after its partner, but it may also escape to infinity, where it appears to be radiation emitted by the black hole. The message of this lecture is that black holes ain't as black as they are painted. They are not the eternal prisons they were once thought. Things can get out of a black hole, both to the outside, and possibly, to another universe. So, if you feel you are in a black hole, don't give up. There's a way out. So, I want to tell you supplementary that you are wrong, that the stars are not from gases. This was invented in old times, and you stay stupid like this. There was an from NASA channel, the sun was filmed and it is made from many ions of iron. So in the similar manner, the stars are made, are not, are not producing light through hydrogen. It is not know how to produce high, only from hydrogen light. You must have to burn hydrogen and oxygen to make a di potential difference between iron and copper, a potential difference to obtain a trigonometrical function to obtain light. So you can falsify science how do you want. I'm telling you science and you listen to these stupid stories that I put to you. They can observe a visible star for signs of orbital movement and further confirm if a black hole hides there. They call it the radial velocity method. It sounds simple, but it isn't easy. The gravity cannot collapse in a black hole because it will break any material before it will collapse the light to, to, to bring it back. Because you understand? So the Stephen Hawking is false. It's, it's false science. And the Chinese filmed a hole with some lights. A hole with some lights. They film a hole with a light. A, a, a hole with a light is a, it, it is black hole. It is not. It is not. Okay. So you can falsify science how do you want. You like this, the old generation to learn false science. I explain to you science and I put to you from Stephen Hawking and, and you can read his book. It is false science. You cannot break to collapse with this because there is an equal force in opposite direction it will break it will break in the middle any known material so if you want to light the so black holes do not exist and before chinese film this a hole with some light a hole with some light there is a black hole 
I put some lights here in a circular manner and uh, uh, in the middle something black that is the black hole so you can falsify science but I'm telling you you will lie your own countries and your children will not have what to learn so the force I put to you the boomerang the force okay here's the flight of the frisbee boomerang beautiful the force has a, a circular case the move boomerang works in a force of field the force of field is due to the to the atoms that of the oxygen atoms in the atmosphere the boomerang has two forces a rectilinear one and rotational one and when this rectilinear is consumed this rotation makes the sinus capsules and you imagine now that instead of this guy there is something that this guy throws it when it comes up, throws it again, throws it again, with a constant speed. This will, this will surround that tree eternally. Beautiful flight. In this manner, you must understand like this from the pendulum one. With acceleration, it is a force Centri patent centrifuge force that gives inward and you, you when you have this pendulum you see the same force accept decelerates in this and accelerates this and and this is the case of a semicircle and you will stop but when you make a full circle you have the force manifesting in a full 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 circle I imprint a force with my hand and the, I maintain this piece at a constant orbit with some force exactly like this guy throws a boomerang you imagine that always he will, he will throw the boomerang he will catch it and throw it <laughs> with the same force we will make the same circle you understand this is the force it is not like in Safa movies attraction it is not attraction it is an inward and outward force because every force has an equal and opposite force. So it is a centripet and centrifuge force always. Like in this case, there is a centripet and centrifuge force. One towards my hand and one the one to escape. And I maintain this with a force. Mass times acceleration. You can falsify science how do you want. This force will not produce black hole. This is the force. Force equal mass time acceleration. The, all the materials are known. The breaking point of the materials. And you can falsify science how much you want. But you lie these children. You cannot obtain a black hole through normal physics. Only some through crazy physics. You cannot obtain a black hole. You can lie from all the over the internet and if you can film some black with, with, with some light this is, this is not a black hole there's some black with some light okay so the Chinese started this because before the Chinese nobody said that film film it although the NASA and Chandra, Chandra telescope puts always black holes on the pictures he, they write them down like this black holes but nowhere in the picture exists one nowhere and they write all over the place black holes i'm telling you if you spin this you will break this in half because there's a centripet and centrifuge force and the atomical force of bounding it is known you can falsify it. and i'm put you i put to you from from uh, stephen hawking and from everybody says that that chinese guy from the national chinese television internet says so i am explaining to you science and they do not the force it is a field that variates with distance the body is more is heavier and 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 much heavier and on the distance because the field is various and this field charges the earth constantly like you throw the boomerang and I gotta say, I love it. Charges with the force of hitting. So the, the force, it's a hitting force in any case. A hitting force. 
and this has a circular case. This is what you are not understanding. The force has a circular case. And in this spring, is the, it is a circular face, uh, 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 force. And it describes an area. It describes an area. If you imagine that the, the, the spring, it is not. In, in this area, there is a centripetal and centrifuge force that varies with area in the circle. This is what the Newton did. And this could not produce a black hole. You can falsify science. This is compounding of the vectors. And this, and this one has by area. Because this is the vectors. And, and they describe an area. This is from Newton book. You can falsify. So Stephen Hawking is wrong. Stephen Hawking is wrong. The black holes do not exist. Goodbye, God bless.